Hey there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video and uh, this is going to be a series introduction and in today's video we're gonna be talking about Aurelia.js now this is not going to be a complete video tutorial because the follow-up videos of after this are going to be the complete video series about Aurelia.js now why I'm creating this series is because I haven't seen any series up on internet even now and a few series are there on tits plus and plural site which are paid and you guys know that I don't love paid stuff so I thought that I would be creating it for the free of cost for all of you guys so Aurelia.js is a kind of JavaScript client side framework it is not server side framework that is that's the thing to know it's a client side framework for you know you can go ahead and create the web applications mobile applications or desktop applications even though mobile and desktop applications I do not really recommend but you know you can create wonderful web applications that is completely asynchronous web applications uh, they are gonna be moving from one page to other page so smoothly that you'll never be able to imagine with other frameworks you know it is and on the top of that it is built in such a way that you know even if you are coming from the background of php c c plus plus ruby you know you are gonna love it because it it is using something that you would really love and that thing is named as ECMAScript now just in case you didn't know what ECMAScript is I would recommend that video tutorials by Bucky from the new Boston you know he, he's a cool guy um, if you don't know there's a YouTube channel named as named as the new Boston and if you go over there there's ECMAScript 6 tutorials um, 6 and even I guess uh, that's 2016 uh, 2015 so all of those tutorials are up there on the Bucky channels and even the Derek Benas uh, I'll be putting down those links in the description box below and basically what is happening right now is Aurelia.js is completely blowing up but uh, nobody's really paying attention to it. Most of the times the people are paying attention to vue.js or angular.js and a little bit to react.js when they are trying to go ahead and create some applications for the mobile platforms. But Aurelia is sort of good framework if you are really looking for uh, you know client server interaction. So let's just get right in here what they have given in here. Uh, so obviously as like every single framework they have MV star conventions they have two-way data bindings there's routing and that routing is completely asynchronous as I said right in the start of this video and it is obviously the testable as I said there's a broad language support ES5, ES2015, 16 and even the uh, a language developed by Microsoft that is TypeScript even that is supported I'll be creating the video on the TypeScript how to create it using that but for the most part I'll be using e ECMAScript over here and you know obviously there's extensible HTML and modern architecture uh, Aurelia was a framework created by Durandal INC but like uh, three days or no like seven days ago uh, they sold it out to somebody else uh, at Blue Spire Inc and you can see on 12th of September this platform this Aurelia has been uh, its all rights have been transformed to Blue Spire before it was Durandal so obviously this is quite a good framework and you know if you are really looking forward to get into this code so just go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be putting a lots of videos regarding Aurelia.js and just in case you haven't been knowing I have created a semantic UI series so you can go back and watch that one thing too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.